And thanks for staying with us. It's now time for us to do entertainment right here on News uh, My name is Stacy Grazer Anka. Starting off, popular Chocho Mucho hit maker blessed us. Way before he had released his song Chocho Mucho, he knew it was going to be a hit and that a lot of opportunities had been made available to him through his music. He spoke to TV Africa's Entertainment News. <laughs> Me criteria, eh? I put my all in my creativity. And Tiana may expect it huge, even though I know it's a, a process. You don't expect it. Oh yeah, yeah, na fa. Obi ane ne kwa ne obi ane ne jene. So when I wrote Chocho Mocho, even when I had not released it, I knew it was a big jam. And ti a bar bontena na M5 gidi gidi no. Though. I felt bad a bit, but I knew it's just a matter of time. And the fire now still, it's being played everywhere, it's flying, people can't just have enough of it. I know, say, yeah, this song had to do all these wonders it is doing now. And it's not even, it, has, it hasn't even ended because a lot of people from around the world are still talking about it. Last time I was having a combo with some Italian woman. She does not even understand English, but she is extremely in love with Chocho Mucho. It tells you that the song is still trending within, you know, within some year, years or like years that I didn't even expect. Uh, people are loving it from, you know, different angles. And it's still gonna trend. Before Chocho Mucho, Namen Tu Kwan Kobe it took me across borders and it brought me to the limelight. I gained some respect from, you know, some dignitaries. You know, last time I was watching some minister, um, I think Accra, one of these, I forgot him. He was jamming to my song. Baumia said it on radio. Chocho Mucho is his favorite. I mean, it's, it's, it gives me that vim that, hey, I am doing something. So that's, I mean, what I've gotten from it. It has really given me some opportunity and some, you know, limelight. <laughs>